everyone, so today we're gonna go ahead and do a Selena Quintanilla slash Beyonce slash JLo look. This look is perfect for formal dances such as prom. It's also perfect for any other type of formal occasion, whether it be a banquet or somewhere where you're receiving an award or something. Um, and if you're like Beyonce and Selena Quintanilla and you just sing in front of thousands and millions of people, this is perfect for you also. Sadly, I won't be doing anything like that at all tonight. So this look is also perfect for those of us who have nothing to do and just wanna experiment and play around with our hair. So I hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned if you want to see how it is. I recreated this look that I saw on both Beyonce and Selena Quintanilla. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it and to subscribe if you haven't already done so. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. So as you can see, we're beginning by flipping our hair upside down to create a very high ponytail. Next, I'm taking a brush to smooth out all the bumps in my hair. Here I'm using two ponytail holders to secure my ponytail because one usually either snaps or it just doesn't do the job. So I'm using two. I'm also using Garnier Fruit Tea's Curl Shaping Cream Gel and I use this to tame all my baby hairs and flyaways. I love this so much because it gives great hold without being too sticky or shiny or thick or anything like that. Next, using a teasing brush, I'm going to go ahead and brush everything out once again. And it doesn't matter that we get bumps or anything like that, as long as we push them back as far as possible, as close as the hair ties as possible, because all that's going to be covered by the bun anyway. We just want to make sure that everything up front is nice and sleek. So we're finally ready to use our socks. So basically you're just going to cut the end off a sock and then you're going to roll it into a little donut. You want to make sure and pick a color that's close to your hair color just because it's going to make it a lot easier to hide. And in case your hair moves throughout the day or anything, you won't be able to tell that there's a sock inside your bun. <laughs> So we're going to start off by taking a section of hair about an inch thick and then we're going to roll it in our fingers and then we're simply going to roll it up. Once we get it where we want it, we're just going to go ahead and take some bobby pins and pin it in place. Working with damp or wet hair definitely makes this a lot easier, but if you're still finding this process a bit too difficult, you can also take a curling iron and curl the hair before you do this and that's going to make it a lot easier also. Another option is to back comb the hair a bit and that's also going to help the hair keep its shape a lot better. I decided to show you this method because this is the method I would most likely use if I was doing this for some sort of event or something because um, I try to avoid teasing my hair and curling it or using any type of heat as much as possible and I've gotten a few questions about how it is I've grown my hair out so long or how I keep it so healthy and that's basically it. I try to avoid using heat. I also try to recreate looks in a way that doesn't require heat. So if you haven't already checked out my no heat series then I'm going to go ahead and link some of the videos down below and make sure to check them out. They're very helpful um, and I can create waves, curls, really small curls, really loose curls um, using absolutely no heat. and it, topped out so much it's made my hair a lot healthier and it's definitely important to give your hair a break from all these hot tools once in a while. Alright so back to the video. As you can see the process is very repetitive and that's what makes this hairstyle not so difficult. But one thing that you want to avoid doing is placing each section right next to the one that you just finished. Doing that would give us more of a like solid bun look and that's not what we're after. So you want to put some sections over other ones and kind of crisscross them and stuff and that's going to give us texture. So yeah, you're just basically going to continue to grab one inch sections. Some can be a bit smaller, some can be a bit bigger. And that once again is also going to help add texture when you're grabbing size portions or sections. Um, but you're just going to continue to do this all around. You want to make sure to cover everything so that you can't see the stock that's underneath. And once you've done that, then you're basically done. You can use some hairspray to make sure that nothing moves or anything like that. This look is also great to sleep on. I know it takes a, a long time to maybe make and stuff, but when you wake up, you're going to wake up with beautiful pin curls. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and some of the tips that I gave you guys. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my future videos. Bye!